Hey there, this is Retreak7, and today I'm going to show you how to build a thing known as a sway bar. It is really good for helping improve the stability of a vehicle in general. It's not really a sway bar, that's a part on a normal car, but it mimics the effect. So, as you can see on this car, I can drive around and not really have too much stability issues. It stays upright and bounces a little, but I'm going to show you how to mimic that. So I've got this car here. This car just has suspension and steering. That's its a basic car. So as you can see, when I drive it around, it, it likes to flop. So I'm going to show you some ways that you can take this car and improve its handling so it won't flip over as much it'll be a little more stable so the first way as always you can pretty easily just take a heavy block like metal and you can put that on the bottom it'll really help a lot but sometimes that even that's not enough so uh, let's see how do I do this if you're doing this, try and taking out little parts at a time so you don't accidentally disconnect something important. That wouldn't be very fun for you at all. Because then you'd have to rebuild quite a bit. Or weld it, I guess. But still, it can be a pain. So, oh my... Whoops. Anyways, so you can put some metal blocks on the bottom. That'll help... Oh, goodness... Um, that'll help lock the, well, not lock anything, but it'll help keep it from flipping as easily. So, another thing you can do is build what's called a sway bar, and that's the main point of this video. So, basically, I, I've left little slots here and here so I can build this. So, uh, just using these corner pipes. If you build it out of pipes, it just looks cleaner. It's a little easier to see what's going on. So the first step to building a sway bar, you're going to want to put a pipe facing up on either side of your suspension. Then you're going to put a suspension facing up, and this is going to help cushion it so it won't be extremely rigid. You probably will want something a little bit lower than lower than or equal to your normal suspension resistance on this one so then once you've got those in place you're going to just build these together i know you're probably thinking oh those aren't connected though so you're just going to take a welding tool uh, i don't need that you're going to take a welding tool and you can link the two together it takes a few tries sometimes but once you get that those two are linked into one bar so now those two sides are conjoined and that'll help keep your car from tipping so like if this wheel goes up because it's got extra pressure on it from turning this will this sway bar will help pull up the other wheel so it won't just roll it'll keep it from rolling over so I'm gonna build the same thing on this side Oops. There we go. So let's see how this goes. It may not be great, still because I don't have a ton of weight on the bottom. It can probably do with a little more there. But you see, already, that's helping. It's still not perfect by any means, but it will help, uh, whoops, it will help a little bit. So you can continue to improve this, give it a low center of mass, so lots of weight on the bottom, not as much on the top. Also, setting the suspension resistance to the right amount for your car is good. You don't want the suspension to just be straight because then it'll be too stiff. If you give it a little bit of slack, let's see if I can show this off here. If you give it a little bit of slack, that'll help out a bit too. I put these down to two since I got a pretty light car, I might be okay. Oh, 
never mind. See, if it squishes down like that, that's not any good either. So, yeah. You want to make sure that you've got the right resistance on there. Yeah, put that at three. So you can play around with different resistances on your sway bar and on your suspension to see what gives you the best stability. That's what I did with this guy over here until I got the right amount of stability. Also, the entire bottom of this thing is made out of concrete, ex besides these little squares of wood. But most of this thing is made of concrete, so it'll be a little more stable and heavy on the bottom. Yeah, well, that's about it for this video. That, yeah. See you guys next time.